about to demonstrate how that this bag is waterproof by taking my computer. It's hooked up through Bluetooth to the speaker. Charlie, Charlie, you're on with Kirksey. Go ahead. My computer, my laptop inside the bag. I need a three-team baseball parlay, man. Can I'll you put this towel in here to a three -team baseball cushion the parlay. computer. You want to pick teams you think you're going to win tonight, Kirchin? Taking the bag, I'm three putting those seams together. Tonight. I'm folding it down, rolling it down. You can either close it on the side. Or you can roll it around and hook it like that. Either way, it does not matter. Uh, all right, let's play our game here with Tim Church. So I'm know that closing it up. Looks like the undercover CIA agent who saved James Bond. I'm going to throw the bag in the water. Henchman that smiles wide, extends his hand, and says to 007, Welcome to Tangier. <laughs> Do you agree that Isaiah Thomas looks like the secret There's my computer. tech person? His office is in the abandoned tunnel in Turkey, who smoothly rolls back his chair. <laughs> To his double screen computer desk with a hot pocket in one hand, a big gulp in the other, and his lucky headband on as he grabs his headset and says sarcastically, About time, Bond. Let me guess. You need a car. <laughs> Does Tim Kirkshin look like the tourist on his first exotic vacation who, while eating at a cafe, witnesses a lethal confrontation? He sits in a state of shock, holding his fork in the air, mouth agape, blood splattered across his Hawaiian shirt while he hears the assailant greet another man with, Welcome to Tangiers, Mr. Bond. <laughs> Does Ben McAdoo look like the guy who tries to squeeze by you holding a large tub of popcorn during the climactic scene of an action movie and when his body is completely eclipsed the screen, all you hear is, Mr. Bond, welcome to Tangiers. <laughs> Does Scott Van Pelt look like the guy Adnan and Bond have to meet at the rendezvous point as he hands Bond a dossier? He says, no, 007, it's worse than we could have imagined. Hey, buddy, he wait. He's over. We've got Joe Harper in here. He's a polygraph specialist. He's very intimidating. He's a nice man, but physically, he's very intimidating, and he has a bullet in his neck. The man, the myth, the legend, Joe Harper, makes his return June 21st for the second installment of...